Welcome to ExecuNet TV. I'm Robin Greenspan, Editor-in-Chief at ExecuNet, and I'm here with Mark Anderson, ExecuNet's President and Chief Economist. Happy New Year, Mark. You referred to 2009 as hitting bottom and 2010 as a turnaround year. I know it's only January, but are there any predictions for what's ahead in 2011? Well, we're off to a good start, Robin. Uh, our Recruiter Confidence Index stands at uh, about 66%, which says two-thirds of recruiters are positive about the hiring environment for executives in the first half of the year. It's a leading indicator of what's going to happen, and it really is starting to say that things have changed from 2010, and companies are starting to look for the talent that they need to grow. Uh, it, the short-term recruiter confidence index is well over 50%, which is very high for this time of recovery and clearly indicates that, that companies are starting to search and that recruiters have assignments in hand. Uh, as you look at it, uh, after three years of uncertainty, we really look at 2011 as being a real brightening of the hiring environment, and it's going to be good news in 2011. Mark, you said the, the recruiters have assignments in their hands now. Uh, any insight into those hiring assignments? Well, we, we've been reporting on executive job creation uh, and that it started last year. Uh, last year, companies were really constrained in their headcounts, and there was a lot of pressure on headcounts, and we're cautious about expanding them. Right now, what we're seeing is one in five companies are actually looking to add positions uh, over the next six months, and a good 60% are actually looking to upgrade their talent. There's, there's an increasing uh, interest in expanding talent as we open 2011, and that relates to the consumer confidence and the business confidence where people are more certain about the future and looking to expand. So how are job seekers connecting with those open positions? Well, what we hear from landed members is that uh, they're really finding them not through public job boards, but they're finding them through private networks and third-party recruiters. Uh, it really comes down to uh, members finding their next opportunity through their own connections or those uh, that they build. Uh, Sixty percent of our landed members said they use their network or our network to help connect with the right decision makers and recruiters. And they also reported that they used our strategies uh, to help them succeed and, and make that, that next step. So in summary, how do you take advantage of emerging opportunity now? Well, uh, three things that really are the bottom line. It's get out there and build your visibility and presence in the right networks uh, so that you're connecting with the right people. Uh, it's second, and it's, there's a Chinese proverb that is, plant a t the best time to plant a tree is either today or 20 years ago. And if you aren't doing it already, you should be planting a tree now and getting out there. And, and the third thing is really you need to gain the market intelligence and insight uh, and support that's going to help you uh, find out where the trends are, where the opportunity is, uh, what are the approaches that are, are best going to lead you to success, uh, and, and also help you learn and quickly adjust uh, to your activities. Uh, and we really look at 2011 as a merging year of opportunity and, and are positive that if you apply those three things, you're going to be more successful. Mark, thank you very much. We're really looking forward to a strong 2011. Thank you. Thank you, Robin.